TV KPM Passenger for flight KL723 to Paris, please go to gate 23 Hello everyone, you are now watching level 2 or slot La Tahap 2 di Direct TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven as your host. And of course, joining us today, we have teacher Anjana. Hi teacher. Hi Sean, how are you? I'm great, how about you? I'm great too. Alright, and we'd also like to introduce our sign language interpreter of our lesson who will be none other than teacher Shamila. Hi teacher, and how are you doing today? Excellent! I'm also super excited to find out what we'll be learning today. But before that, I believe we also have a few pupils who will be joining us online. They are from two different schools. Let's see who they are. Hi everyone! There we go, our happy, happy faces joining us today. Teacher, could you kindly introduce them to all of us here? Of course. Okay, first we have Aiden. Hi Aiden. And we have Arash. Hi, Arash. Aiden and Arash are from SK Puchung Utama 2. All right. And we have two lovely girls here. Bella. Hi, Bella. And Elaine. Bella and Elaine are from SJKC St. James. Ah, all right. So I have a very important question for all of you. Are you ready for our lesson for today? Give us a thumbs up if you are. There we go, all ready. All right, teacher, what, are, uh, what is our lesson about today? The lesson today is about getting around. Oh. Would you want to show them the picture cards? All right, so here I have this one. Yes. Start off with this one over here. Ah. So can you see that picture card? That's the flight that we missed, Sean. Oh, yes. Please don't remind me. <laughs> and we have another one here, mm -hmm. which is a bullet train. Ah. This one. Okay, and mm -hmm. we have another one there, which is a... There we go. This one over here. It's a helicopter. That's okay, right. and remember, transportation is very important because mm -hmm. uh, we get to move from one place to another place easily. That's right. Okay, uh, I'm just very curious. Uh, what is your favourite mode of transportation, Sean? My favourite mode of transportation would be by car. Okay. Yeah, that's very easy and also very convenient, convenient. as well. Yeah. Uh, shall we ask our pupils out there? Yeah. Uh, can we start probably with Aiden? Do you want to share with us your favourite mode of transport? My favourite mode of transport is the bicycle because it's easy to ride. That's true. Excellent. Easy to ride. Uh, can we have probably Bella or Elaine to share with us your favourite mode of transport? My favourite kind of transport is an aeroplane because we can travel to different countries. And we can travel to Paris. Yes, that's okay. right. Okay, and uh, maybe Elaine? My favourite mode of transport is car because I can easily travel by car. Okay, right. and can we have another person, Pro uh, Arash? My favorite mode of transportation is the airplane because we can it can go anywhere we want faster. Exactly. That's so true. we have the car and we have the airplane, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Before that, can we look at the objectives? All right. Okay. Today you'll be looking at uh, these three objectives. First, which is write a fan fiction ending for a story that you are going to read. 
Second, you have to state true or false for the statements. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, we have to complete the statements with suffix correctly. Are you all ready? Yeah. Can I get a double thumbs up? <laughs> okay, before that, um, can we, uh, can you guess what is the story uh, going to be about? What are the stories they're going to read later? Maybe can we have uh, Bella? Can you guess what is the story that you're going to read later? Um, a story about fiction. A story about fiction? Um, mm. Okay, let's see. Sometimes and Arash? Uh, yeah, a story about fan fiction. About fan fiction? Okay. okay. Uh, but do you remember what is our topic today? It's about? Getting around. Getting around. So, yeah. the text is going to be about all these kinds of transport that you get to travel. Mm -hmm. Alright? Are you excited? Can we get a double thumbs up? Yes. All right. Looks like everyone is super excited for our lesson today. Uh, what we can do is we're going to do just do a little bit more preparation. I want to get myself all stretched out, drink some water and prepare ourselves. We're going to take a short break. And right after this, we're going to continue with our lesson here on Delete TV KPM. KPM. You are now watching Level 2 on Didate TV KPM. Our lesson for today is English Year 6. Alright, teacher, what will we be learning for this segment? For this segment, we'll be getting the students to read a text. Oh. After reading the text, they need to do something. Okay. We'll find out what they have to do. Ooh, mystery. Okay. Are you all excited? I definitely am. How about our pupils who are online? Yes! Can we get excited. a double thumbs up from all of you? And also pupils out there watching. There we go! Alright. Let, let's get started. Mm -hmm. So this would be our, our segment which is fan fiction. And are you curious, Sean, what is fan fiction? Yeah. Hmm. Is that about telling a story? We'll find out. Okay. Let's get started. This is the first paragraph. Can I get a volunteer from our pupils out there to read this text? Let's see. Okay, oh. we have Arash. Arash, please yes. read the text. It was a humid day. Rania sat quietly waiting for her online class. It was English and she was fearful of Madame Laura's loud voice. She was feeling restless while waiting for her. Thus, she decided to play a new virtual game on her tablet PC. Excellent, Arash. So it was a humid day and what, what was the class that she was waiting for? English. It was English and it was an online class and she was afraid of Madam, La Madam Lara's loud voice. Yeah, and she decided to play a new virtual game on her tablet PC. So, do you want to know what happened next? Yes? yes. Okay, let's go to the next one. The second paragraph. Can we have another volunteer? Probably Bella? Yes, Bella. In an instant, she found herself on a raft in the middle of a sea. She noticed something below the raft. It had more than eight tentacles. It grabbed Rania off the raft and she started screaming loudly until she became voiceless. The grip was so powerful, she used all her energy to release the grip. She felt helpless and her body was painful. 
Excellent, Bella. Uh, Sean, uh, do you want to give her a reward? Because she has been reading quite well. Yes, that's so right. So shall we give her a thumbs up or double thumbs up? Um, that's up to you. Which would you like to give? Definitely double thumbs up. Oh. Double thumbs up. Also to Arash. For Arash as well as and Bella. Bella. Yeah. Bravo. Okay, let's look at the text here. The creature had more than eight tentacles. Mm. What do you think it is? It grabbed Rania and the grip was so powerful. So what was, what do you think the creature is? Anyone out there? Anyone do you want to guess? Try? Oh, can we have a uh, Aiden? Uh, an octopus? An octopus. It had more than eight tentacles. Hmm. You think that's the creature? Let's find oh. let's find out in the next paragraph. Okay. Thank you, Aiden. Things are definitely getting interesting now. Okay, the third one. Can we have a uh, Elaine to read it for us. Yes, teacher. Thank you, Elaine. Could you read for us? When she was giving up, she realized she was sitting in a helicopter. The helicopter was soaring through the clouds like the universe was endless. There was no pilot navigating it, but only a remote control. She felt peaceful. There was a colourful rainbow too. A body was painless. Excellent, Elaine. And look at the storyline there. First, she was on a raft. Yes. And she got into a helicopter now. Hmm. And was there a pilot in the helicopter, Elaine? Was there a pilot in the helicopter? No. No. And. How, how is it up there? Who's navigating it? There is a, there's a remote control. Mm. Okay, and she did see a colourful rainbow and she felt very peaceful. So let's see what is happening next. Do you want to know what's happening next, next Sean? Oh yes, the story is just... There's so much happening right now. I just want to find out what happens next. Okay, the next one. So can we have another pupil out there to read for me the last... Yes. We got uh, Aiden, raising, Aiden raising his hand. Yes, Aiden. All of a sudden, Rania looked down and saw one of the fastest sport car far away from the helicopter. Someone pushed her from the helicopter and... <gasps> and... Hmm. And do you remember anybody being in the helicopter? Huh, I don't think so. I think it was just... Was there a pilot? Hmm. Aiden, was there a pilot in the helicopter? No. No? And who... Any. <laughs> and who pushed her? I wonder too. And she saw the fastest sport car far away from the helicopter. Yes. Okay. Now, the fan fiction moment. I want you to tell me what happened next. Be very creative with the ending. Okay? I'm going to give you some moment to think of the ending. Your ending can end with a happy one. Mm -hmm. You can end it with a tragedy, a sad ending. End it with a twist, unexpected direction, End it with the beginning. I'm sure you still remember what the beginning was. Where was Rania? So this is how you end a story. I'm going to give pupils there and out there watching some time to think about the ending. A very interesting ending. Mm -hmm. So, Sean. Yes. So, could you give me what do you think? Hmm. So how, I should create an ending of my own? Okay. Um, let me just be a little creative here. Before and think that, about let me something. ask them. Yes. Are y'all are y'all eager to hear Sean's ending? <laughs> yes. Oh, I get a double thumbs up there. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'll try my very best. Okay. Let's hmm. hear it, Sean. So uh, the last sentence was she. Someone pushed her from the helicopter, and she fell down from the helicopter. 
but it was in a very fast pace. She was like a bullet heading towards that sports car she saw, but suddenly she realized she has wings and she could fly and flap her wings away from the car. And a second later, she realized that she could transform into a rocket ship and she flew into space all the way into the sun and she exploded. But right after that, she just woke up. <gasps> she was actually on her bed. She actually forgotten that she has taken a nap. She woke up, but she looked at the time. <gasps> oh no, I'm late for my online class. She rushed to her tablet PC, turned it on, and there was Madam Lara scolding her, screaming to her in a very loud voice. Where were you? And that's the end. Excellent. <laughs> that was a very good ending. And Sean, your ending had a happy ending, mm -hmm. tragedy, twist, and you actually went back to the beginning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm giving you a double thumbs up. Yay! Double so, thumbs up for me. I'm sure the pupils there are going to do better than you, Sean. Oh, yes. I, I have confidence in them too. Okay, let's get started. Who's going to go first? The ending. Oh, we don't have a volunteer. Probably, can we have Aiden? All right, Aiden. So let's let's hear your ending. So say it loud and clear, with full of expression. Someone pushed her from the helicopter, and she fell on the clouds. The clouds were moving. Wow, two horses were pulling the clouds. It looked like a carriage. She felt like a princess. And that's the end. That was an wow. amazing ending. So it was a carriage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pulled by two horses. Excellent. Aiden, shall we give him a double thumbs up? Double thumbs up for you, Aiden. Well done. That's so creative. I've never would have thought of that. Very creative. Okay, let's move on to the next ending. I'm so eager to hear from uh, Eli? Yes, teacher. Can we she, hear your ending? Yes. She heard a voice. When she looked up, it was the giant squid looking back with a green smile. She thought back to herself. How did it get here? Then, the squid gave Rania a magnetic keyless car key and left. When Rania looked closer, it was the key to a Nissan GTR. Apparently, Rania had just got her driving license, so she quickly hit the road. Excellent, Elin. Wow. So it was, it was a brand new uh, Nissan G GTR, GTR. Wow. and she could drive it anywhere she wants because she has a driving license now. Ooh. Very good, Elaine. So you get the double thumbs up as well. Very you creatively go. done. Yours is with a happy ending. Okay, next, can we have um, Arash? Yes, teacher. Yes, Arash. Give it a go. Someone pushed her from the helicopter and she fell hard on the ground. And she suddenly saw a man riding the car. It was her late grandfather. She was confused. Where was she? Heaven? Amazing! It was heaven! heaven. So it, it, it ended with a twist. Wow! That was amazing, Arash. Okay, Shall give him a double thumbs up, yes, of course. Yes, we should. Here we go. Double thumbs up for you as well. <laughs> okay, then we get to the last one here. Bella? Yes, teacher. Okay. She fell and sank into the sea. When she opened her eyes, Rania noticed that she could breathe. Where am I, she wondered. You are in a submarine, said Madame Lara with an angry expression. She was so shocked that she realized she fell asleep in class again. Excellent! <laughs> okay. She fell asleep again! Again! Oh, no. So, your ending went back to the beginning. Yeah. Excellent pupils, all of you have done it perfectly well. Mm -hmm. So shall we give them double thumbs up? That's right. For Bella as well? For Bella as well. Yeah! 
Excellent. Well done. So we, okay, now, mm -hmm. since we have read the story, we're going to do a quick, a quick exercise. Okay. okay? We have to state true or false for the statements below based on the story read. You have your mini whiteboards ready? So you can write out your answer, true or false. Okay, this is a quick one. All right. Okay, can we get uh, a volunteer to read the first one and answer? Yes, Arash. Could you kindly read for us, please? Oh, Arash, could you unmute yourself, please? Yeah, we, we can't hear oh, you, sorry. Arash. Yes. All right. Rania quietly waiting for a maths online class. So is that a true or false statement? False. False. So let's check the answer. False. Bravo. Well done. Oh, well done. So we go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Can we have the second volunteer? You can put up your hand. Oh, Elaine, do you want to do the second one? Yes, Elaine. She found herself on a raft first. Is that a true or false statement based on the story that you have read? Oh, I, I get the answers from all. <laughs> so what do you think, Elaine? It's true. It is true. So do we see the true? Yes. All of them have stated that this is a true statement. What do you mm -hmm. think, Sean? Hmm, she found herself on a raft first. I think as soon as she um, played her virtual, sorry, her game on her tablet PC, I think, yes, that is correct. Uh, it is true, I think. Wasn't it the helicopter? Oh, wait a second. No, definitely the raft. Okay, let's check the answer. Yeah! True! Okay, double thumbs up again. Well done, everyone. Okay, well done. We'll go to the <laughs> third one. All right. Can we have a volunteer? Okay, Bella. Bella raising her hand. Okay. Be Bella first, then we'll get Aiden later. Bella? Could you read the sentence? The squid-like creature had more than eight tentacles had more than eight tentacles. Are you sure it had more than eight? Wasn't it 11? Hmm. Let's see what the pupils have to say. Is it true or false? So, Bella, your answer first. True. Okay, so we get the others to also write true. Um, I don't know. I have doubts on this um, sentence. I don't know whether it's 11 or more than... Was it like 11? I think it was definitely more than eight tentacles. Okay. But I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the answer, shall we? Shall we? Yeah, hey! True. True. Very good. Well done. How, how many thumbs up should we give them? Um, two. Double thumbs up. Double definitely. thumbs up for all of you. They are doing very well today. That's okay. right. Can we, okay. Can we go to the fourth one now? Mm -hmm. Fourth one, can I have uh, Aiden? Do you want to do the fourth one? Yes. The pilot smoothly navigated the helicopter through the clouds. The pilot smoothly navigated the helicopter through the clouds. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure if it was a, a pilot or there was something else navigating the helicopter. Hmm. Give it a thought first before telling me the answer, Aiden. Was it the pilot or the, the remote control? The remote control. <laughs> the remote control. So, so let's. Can we see your answer? False. So can we see the rest of you? False. Hmm. And what about the pupils out there? So do you think it's a true or false statement? Okay. Are you all eager to know the answer? False. Well done. Excellent. All of you have... Okay. Reward first. One or two? Single or double? I think double. Double thumbs up for everyone. Can I see the double thumbs up as well from you? Well done, everyone. So, 
uh, we have answered the statements. Mm -hmm. uh, we have stated whether it's true or false yeah. based on the story that we have read. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, remember that whenever uh, you write the ending of a story, you can yes. make it a happy ending. Mm -hmm. You can make it a sad ending. Yes. A tragic one, mm -hmm. or you can always go back to the beginning. Yeah, that's right. So, pupils, then, did you enjoy the story? Yeah. Did you enjoy the story? <laughs> Which was the best, best ending that you enjoyed? Bella, which was the best ending that you enjoyed? The best ending is Elaine one, that she got a driver license. Oh <laughs> yes, everyone is dreaming about that actually. Exactly, and it was a brand new car. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and remember, we have learned a few transport mode in the story. What mm -hmm. was the transport mode that we learned? What was the transportation used in the story? Maybe Arash? What was the first one? Uh, the first one was the raft. The raft. That's right. Okay, and mm -hmm. what was the second one? A helicopter. The helicopter. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, and I remember, uh, was it Bella talking about the carriage? Was mm -hmm. it you, Bella? Oh, it was... Oh, it was Aiden, and because she was a princess. That's right. Yes. So these are the transportation mode that mm -hmm. that was mentioned in the story and the endings. I think there was one more mentioned in the story. What was that, Sean? Something that was really fast. Could anyone guess? Really fast. So it was just after the helicopter, and then she noticed something. Yes. Who who shall we choose? Uh, probably Elaine. All right, Elaine. What was it? The train. It was a train? It was a train? No, I don't think It was think a train? So. Are you sure? Okay. Okay, Arash Keep is also trying. raising his hand. Arash? Yes. Um, the third one was the, was the Lamborghini. A Lamborghini? A Lamborghini? Oh, the, the fastest car. That's right. The fastest car. Arash, that was a good one. Yeah. So he's saying that the fastest car is a Lamborghini. Mm. All right. So these are the transportation mode that you have learned from the story today. Okay, remember, transportation is very important because you get to travel from one place to another. Okay, so without them, you need to walk perhaps. Ah, so what yes. if your school is very far away from your from your house. Mm -hmm. How do you get to school if you don't have this transportation? That's true, that's true. So it's either we have to probably take a bus or we can go by bicycle. We can we can take a car mm -hmm. and... Uh, or we can ask our friends if they're on the way, they can fetch us in their mom or dad's uh, vehicle. Exactly. So that's remember, right. mm -hmm. transportation is very, very important. That's right. And right now, we're going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Did It TV KPM. KPM. Hello, you are now watching Level 2 on Didate TV KPM. Our subject for today is English Year 6 with the topic Getting Around. So let's continue. Yes, so now we'll be looking into the second segment which is Let's Jiggle with Words. Ooh, jiggle jiggle. <laughs> okay, are you curious to know what are we going to learn today? The pupils there? Yes, Are I you can curious? See them your heads and can I have a third? double thumbs up? Yeah. So we have learned about transportation. We have read a story, mm -hmm. and we have done amazing endings. So now we're going to learn something about words. All right. Let's look at the first one. We're going to learn suffix. How? Huh. Suffix is a group of letters placed after a word. Mm -hmm. I repeat, a group of letters placed after a word. It changes the meaning of the words. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to learn two suffix today, which is full and less. Two suffix today, which is full and less. less. Okay, we look at the first one. Mm -hmm. Full. Full means full of. Okay. Okay. For example, taste full. Mm. Having a good taste. Okay. And the second one, use full when something is able to be used in many ways. Ah, okay. So remember, tasteful, having a good taste, useful when something is able to be used in many ways. The word full is added to the word taste mm -hmm. and use. Okay. We look at the second one now, which is less. Means without. Let's look at the word homeless. Less is added to the word home, which means a person without a home. Ah. Homeless. Okay. Fearless. Less is added to the word fear. Brave or without fear. So mm. remember, these are the two suffix that we, we are going to learn today, which is full and less. Full means full of. Less means without. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's look at this now. Now, remember the story that we have read? Sean, do you remember? Oh, yes. Rania yeah. again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, if you look at this text, I'm going mm -hmm. to read it very fast. It grabbed Rania off the raft and she started screaming loudly until she became voiceless. Okay. Voiceless. The grip was so powerful, powerful. She used all her energy to release the grip. Her body was painful, painful. Okay. When she was giving up, she realized she was sitting in a helicopter. The helicopter was soaring through the clouds like the universe was endless. Endless. There was no pilot navigating it, but only a remote control. She felt peaceful. Peaceful. There was a colorful rainbow too. Colorful. Now, look at the words, which is which are on red, which is red there. Can you see the words there? Yes. Voiceless. Mm -hmm. Powerful. Painful. Endless, peaceful, and colorful. Do you notice the suffix used there, Sean? Oh, yes. So, so how many types of suffix used there? There are two, which are full and, and less or less. Less, okay. Yeah. Excellent. So, the two pupils there, can you see the, the words in red there? Those are words with suffix okay maybe uh can we see uh, can we get bella bella uh what do you think voiceless mean it means that no voice it means no voice no voice. without a voice ah, yeah. very good and what about oh reward first there we go double thumbs up yes of course yeah they are doing great today and let's look at the second, I, I'm, I'm going to look at the word painful. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the word painful. So, can you guess what painful means? Anyone there, pupils? Arash is raising his hand. Arash? Yes. Pain, painful. It means someone is full in pain. Full, full, full in pain. It's, it's very painful. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. And uh, what about endless? The universe was endless. Elaine, great. Do you want to try? Yes, teacher. What do you think it is? In my opinion, I think it means there's no ending. There's no ending. Very ah. good. So the universe has no ending, Sean. Yes. And one more last one. Aiden, perhaps. Colourful. The, there was a colourful rainbow. I think it means full of colours. 
full of colors. Excellent. You just knew the meaning. Oh, we forgot the reward, Sean. Yes, I think they all did. Did they all do a good job? Very good job. So how many? Um, how how much of a reward should we give them? Single or double? Double, definitely double. Double thumbs up to everyone. Okay, excellent. <laughs> okay, so now let's look at this. I want you to complete the sentences with a suitable suffix. Okay. Full or less. Okay. So, uh, can we have a volunteer to read the first one? You need to add a suffix there. The first one, please. Anyone? Elaine? Maybe? Yes, Elaine. Lalit is thankful to have such a caring family. Thankful. Full of thanks. Excellent. Elaine, so double thumbs up again. Well done, Elaine. All right. Aha. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Okay. The next one? Can we have Aiden? Yes. The squirrels in the garden are harmless. Harmless? Squirrel. Are they tame or wild animals? So, are they harmless or harmful? Let's see the answer. Aha. Harmless. Very good. So, double thumbs up again for Aiden. Yeah. The next one. Can we have um, Arash? Yes. Yes, Arash. Could you give me the answer for the third one? Ji Seng saved a homeless kitten wandering around town. Saved a homeless kitten wandering around town. Poor hmm. kitten. So let's look at the answer. Homeless. Bravo. Bravo, Arash. So double thumbs up again. Yeah. Okay. And the next one. Who's going next? Bella or Elaine? Oh, okay, Bella. Bella? Chris's old bicycle is a worthless piece of junk. Oh my! <laughs> Chris's old bicycle is a worthless piece of junk. How could you? Let's see the answer. Worthless. Oh. Yes, it is. Double thumbs up. Well Bella? done. Yeah. Okay. And I think we have another one. Hmm. Okay, the last one. Okay, maybe Sean, do you want to do this? Okay, Let's I'll give it a Let's get Sean go. to do it. Okay, so here. Ramla is resting because her hand is... Hmm. Okay, she's resting. So obviously she must be feeling tired or something, but the word given here is pain. So I would assume that Ramla is resting because her hand is painful. It hurts. Is that correct? Ramla is resting because her hand is painful. painful. Okay, hmm. so let's check the answer. Painful. So I'm giving you double thumbs up. Shall we Yay! give him double thumbs up, pupils? For Sean. Yeah. So you get eight altogether, or ten. 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 Oh, wow. Ten double thumbs up. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Now. Um, we have learned about suffix, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that uh, pupils there uh, have examples of suffix that they know of. Okay. Words with the suffix, mm -hmm. which uses full yeah. and less. Mm. So can we have uh, maybe uh, Arash? Like, give me examples of yes. words of the suffix that we have learned now. Um, hopeful. Hopeful. And, mm -hmm. and painless. Hopeful and painless. painless. So okay. remember, painful is full of pain, and mm -hmm. painless is. Arash, painless is. Uh, without pain. Without, without pain. pain. Excellent. Okay, can we have a uh, Aiden? Can you give me examples? Careless. 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 Okay, very mm -hmm. good, Aiden. So we give that a double thumbs up as well. Well done. Haha. <laughs> Okay, and uh, who next? Who shall we call next, Sean? Uh, 
Hmm, I think the uh, two ladies have an answer. Yes, maybe we can give them an opportunity. All right, can we go with Bella? Yes, teacher. Careful and restless. Careful, Careful mm -hmm. and restless. Okay. I'm wondering what restless mean? The word restless. It means without rest. Without rest. Mm, restless. Okay. And mm -hmm. what was the other word? Careful. Careful. So careful uses the suffix full. Yes. And what does it mean? Bella? Full of care. Full of care. Mm -hmm. So you drive your car in a careful mode. Is that what you mean? Yes. Yes. Ha. Okay. Very excellent. Excellent, Bella. And the last one, Elaine. Yes, teacher. Wonderful and sleepless. Wow. Wonderful and sleepless. So mm -hmm. what does wonderful mean? Wonderful means brilliant. Wonderful means? Brilliant. Brilliant. And what is the other one? Sleepless. Sleepless. What does sleepless mean? Sleepless means there's no sleep. There, not there's sleep. no not enough or sweet, lacking in sleep. Yeah. Excellent. All of you have given me examples of words using the suffix that I have taught. Okay, remember that uh, you have... Oh, we forgot the... Yes. We forgot the reward for Elaine. Oh, all right. Shall we give her the reward first? Yes. Or double thumbs up. Well done, Elaine. And of course, to everyone, yeah? Yeah. Well done to all of you for giving me... Uh, correct examples using the suffix that that you have learned full and uh, less okay so remember suffix is a group of letters mm -hmm. placed after a word yes okay so it changes the meaning of the word one is full full is means it means full of mm -hmm. and the other is less which means without Ah, all right so well done everyone thumbs up for everyone let's give yourselves a thumbs up there we go. And I guess everyone had a fruitful lesson. So right now we're going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Delete TV KPM. KPM. You're now watching Level 2 on d TV KPM. Our lesson for today is English Year 6, Getting Around. So, teacher, what are we going to learn in this segment? In this segment, it's going to be a very fun segment oh. where we're going to try to uh, solve some riddles. Yeah. Okay, we're going to solve three simple riddles. So, mm -hmm. But let's, let's hope they'll be able to solve the riddles. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Okay. All right. So this is the riddle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I have a um, volunteer again to read the riddle? Bella. Okay, we have Bella here. Bella, go ahead. It is a special vehicle. People call me when they need help. It has flashing lights and a siren. It takes sick people to the hospital. Oh. Hold on. Don't give us the answer yet. So, it actually, it's a special vehicle. Mm -hmm. It has flashing lights uh -huh. and a siren. It takes sick people to the hospital. Okay. So, the hmm. rest of you keep guessing. Okay. Um, Bella, do you want to tell me the answer? Yes. Yes, it is Bella. an ambulance. It's an ambulance. So do you think... Uh, what about the rest of you? What do you think it is? Elaine? An ambulance. Uh, Arash? An ambulance. Arash? 
Ambulance. Ambulance. So we're getting this ambulance, ambulance from all of them. So mm -hmm. shall we check the answer? All right. Ambulance. Yeah. All of you are doing amazing. Shall we give them a reward? Yes, of course. How many thumbs up should we give them? Two. Two Still thumbs two. up. Double thumbs up for all of you. Well done. Well done. <laughs> so we go to the next one. Are you excited? Oh, yes. Mm, I love riddles. Okay, and the pupils out there watching, keep guessing the answers too. Okay. Uh, this is a very short one. Okay. Okay, can we have uh, probably Aiden? Okay. Aiden. It is ve very long. It has many compartments. The wheels roll only on rails. Hmm. Okay. Keep guessing. It is very long. Mm -hmm. It has many compartments. Mm -hmm. The wheels roll only on rails. Hmm. So, uh, could you please write down your answers? You have your mini whiteboards, I guess. So, you can write down the answers and even the pupils that out there watching, write down your answer. There's only one answer to it. Okay, Aiden, your answer is... Oh, can we see? What is that? Train, T-R-A-I-N, train. And what about the rest there? Mono. Oh, we have a bullet train, we have a monorail, and we have a train. Okay, let's look at the answer. Yes, it's a train. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent answer. It can be any train there. Okay, some of you answered monorail, yeah. bullet train, mm -hmm. and it's a train. It has a lot of compartments. Okay, we accept all the answers. Yeah. So, double thumbs up for them? Um, yeah, of course. Yay! Well done, everyone! <laughs> All okay, right. we go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what this is. Ooh. Alright. Okay. Shall we choose someone to read it out for yes, us? Yes, of course. Any volunteers? Okay, we got oh we got three people raising their hands. Who shall we pick? Um, can we have uh, Elaine? Elaine, okay. It has two wheels. It has no motor. You need to ride it carefully. Do not forget to wear a helmet. Hmm. Okay, what do you think the answer is, Elaine? I think it's a bicycle. You think it's a bicycle? So let's look at the answer and the rest of you. Let's see if your answers are correct. Yes, it is because it has no motto. Oh, that's right. Okay, excellent. So looks like we have we have done with the riddles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all of them have done it correctly. Yes. They have answered all the riddles correctly. Mm -hmm. So let's give them a double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. They deserve a great reward. Yeah. Okay. Uh, looks like we have uh, we have come to the end of the. Oh, yes, we have. Could okay. you kindly give us a recap of what we have learned yeah, for today? Yeah, okay. Let's look at the objective. Mm -hmm. We have actually, uh, we have written a fan fiction ending for the story heard. We have stated true or false for the statements. Yes. You have completed the statements with suffix correctly. Yeah. Okay, so we have done all the activities. Mm -hmm. Okay, and remember, we were talking about uh, transportation modes. Yes. So remember, Sean, what were the transportation mentioned in the story? Oh, yes. Uh, would you like me to repeat that? Of course. Okay, so we had the helicopter, we had the raft, as well as the car. Exactly. Yes. Okay. And, and because everyone have uh, well achieved their objectives or learning objectives for today, how well did they do throughout the entire lesson? They have done excellent. It was, it was a good job. Mm -hmm. They have actually confidently mentioned their answers. All right. So, so they deserve 
Double thumbs up! Well done, everyone! And let's just see if anyone who's watching right now, if they would like to get enhancement exercises, from where can they get it from? They can get it from Sumberku. All right, and there you have it. Thank you once again, teacher, for our lesson for today. And of course, to uh, teacher Shamila as well for being our sign language interpreter, as well as our students online and you for those of you watching thank you so much and hopefully it has been beneficial to all of you and we'll see you in our next session till then take care bye hello everyone i'm teacher izati from sk puchong utama 2 i'm sure you have heard on how important of transportation are Transportation are very important because it helps us to move from one place to another. How do you go to school? Some of you travel by bus, car, bicycle, motorcycle, and even van. Imagine you do not have a transport and you live very far away from school. How are you going to school then? walk oh no so these modes of transportation help us to move easily we are lucky now that the transportation nowadays are advanced we even have the etf and aeroplanes it takes short time for us to reach the destination so dear peoples please appreciate any transportation you have around you and if you have a flight to catch, please be early at the airport or else you'll miss the flight. Thank you.